Hey, what's up guys? Kevin here. So today we're in the Sagaike Terrain Park in Hakuba, Japan. Getting ready to do some park laps, learn some new tricks. But first, our friend Bo is going to take us through a short dynamic stretch session you can do before riding the park or just snowboarding in general. Just something to get your body ready for snowboarding so that you feel good and so that you can also prevent injuries. Bo man, take us through it. Cool. So. We're out here at Sugake, about to take some park laps, and just like you know, any physical activity, you want to be nice and warmed up to prevent injury. You don't want to pull a muscle when you're doing a tweak or you know, hitting a jump. So we're gonna do a dynamic stretch. It's very important to do a dynamic stretch before you're doing something like snowboarding because you're doing a powerful move, right? You wanna have power in your legs when you're exploding off you know, the takeoff or jump or hitting a rail when you're doing an ollie, things like that. So you don't wanna do a static stretch because when you static stretch, you are elongating your muscles um, and your muscles are gonna be all stretched out. And then when you go to do an ollie or something like that, uh, you're not gonna have that power that you would normally have. So you want to stretch those muscles out, but you want to be moving as you do. Uh, so you're activating the muscles that you're going to be using as well as stretching. And then you're also forcing blood into those muscles. You're going to be nice and warmed up. All right, so I'm going to get Bo to show us first and then I'm going to give it a try. All right, guys, so I like to do a few different motions. So I learned some of these. Uh, I used to work as a personal trainer. Uh, so different people, different body types, you know, do what you're comfortable with. Don't push it too hard. Uh, you want to feel your muscles stretching, but you also want to feel like you're getting, you know, a little bit of a workout, like you're warming up those muscles. So I'm going to go through a routine. I've put this together over the years uh, from, from playing football and baseball. And it's now my routine that I do every time when I go snowboarding. It keeps me nice and limber, nice and warm up and uh, ready ready to shred all right so I like to do a walking lunge to start and I do a pretty complicated one but I'm gonna walk you through it it's pretty simple once you get the hang of it so you want to step out into your lunge I don't let my knee touch you can let your knee touch to begin with um, until you can kind of kind of get that strength in your, in your leg to kind of hold yourself off the ground I get a little more stretch that way a little more activation um, but I like to reach up over my head like this and in each, as I go through, as I'm stretching each muscle, I like to do like a two second hold. So I'm going one, two, and then I go, and I'm stretching, and right now I'm stretching out what's called the psoas. This is a muscle that wraps around your pelvis um, and it connects all the way up into your abdomen. It's part of what you would call your abs. Um, and you want to really stretch that out. So you want to kind of reach over your head like this. And this is going to be all one motion. So you're kind of stepping into your lunge reaching up one two and then I go down with my right hand to the ground I'm gonna take my left elbow come inside of my left knee get a stretch here here I'm stretching the inside of my adductors which is in your groin area um, and stretching out your hips uh, very important to have loose hips when you're snowboarding too so I'm gonna do kind of a two second here then I'm gonna take this left hand go to the sky open up here you're stretching a lot of muscles, uh, a lot of your core is being engaged, it's also being stretched. Um, you want to keep you know, everything kind of nice and tight as you go too. So you're looking at the sky, one, two. And then I'm going to just take my left hand to my toe. As I try to straighten my left leg, this is going to stretch my hamstring, one, two. And then I'm going to step up, right? And then I'm going to do the other side. So I'm going to go through it a little bit faster this time, that way you can kind of see how it's supposed to look. I'm gonna do a couple steps as I go. So, right foot, stretch, reach up, left hand down, inside, sky, toe, step up. And go right back into it here. Boom, right hand down. And that's the first move. I'm gonna give it a try. Awesome. Looking good, dude. I feel like a few of those, it's, yeah, it's kind of getting your core going. It's stretching out some of the stuff through your chest and your hips. Um, very similar to yoga, actually. Some of the stuff that Jill's done on the channel with yoga moves, I feel like all those things, like moving and stretching at the same time, yeah, do a few of those and ready for the park. 
So I also do a few more moves uh, just to stretch out, you know, some different muscles. In snowboarding, you're using your quads a lot and also uh, your glutes. So it's good to stretch out and warm those up as well. And don't forget to stretch after you're done snowboarding. It's very important uh, to stretch out those muscles uh, once they've been worked all day. Uh, that's going to help with being sore, get that lactic acid buildup out of there. Awesome. Thanks, Bo. If you guys have any questions for Bo, leave them down below. We'll pass them on to him. Like this video and we can do more videos like this for pre and post stretching and just things in general to keep your body in shape for snowboarding. Thanks for watching guys. Thanks Bo. Sick man. See you guys next time.